Morning walk, January 12th, 1974, Los Angeles. Accepting a leader. One has to consider what is the position of the leader. They do not take such account. Now they calculate if the leader is very cunning, then he's qualified. They think that politics means cheating, cunning, bluffing, and that is good quality. Lloyd George sometimes before he came, he said consistency in politics is the qualification of an ass. It must be inconsistent. But here this is different. How he situated. especially in India, that if one is not God concerned, he is a third class last country. That standard is now gone. Now to become God concerned, to talk of God, is a business of primitive fools. They think like that, isn't it? Yes. They say they are realistic. We are not realistic. Huh? Who, who is realistic? They think that... People who believe that. in God are not realistic. Ah. Oh. And what is the realistic? Uh, to work in social reform or politics. Huh? To work with uh, social reform or politics is realistic. Uh, reform means they're continuously reformed. Then that is perfection. But no standard. No standard. standard of reform that they do not know. Where from this one came? Oh, Krishna. When the facilities are there. Yes. Rupanuga Maharaj stating uh. that six devotees around the country now will be running for political offices. Uh. Hopefully just to inject uh, Krishna consciousness into political arena. He's one of them? Yes, you look proud. He's also one of them? No, no. Not, not with Nuga Maharaj. I'm one of them in this area here. So which post you are going to contest? United States Congress. Uh, Senator? Uh, well, Congressman, there's two offices of the uh, legislature. 
the Senate and the House of Representatives. Uh. In the, uh, for each state, there are two senators, uh, no matter what the population. Mm -hmm. And for the House of Representatives, every so many hundred thousand people, there's one representative. Uh. That's like in England, House of Commons. Yes. And Senator House of Lords. That's right. been projected. Mm. Uh, one is that we uh, preach very boldly mm. and hold no bars, just make it known completely what our platform is. Mm. The other attitude is one of, um, of making our propaganda more palatable by saying we will, if elected, we will uh, reinstitute prayers into schools and not tell them much more than that. Why in this school? In every home? Well, it was a very big issue several years ago uh. where they used to have a, a prayer at the beginning of each school day. But then the one demoniac lady, one atheist, uh. Uh, she, by her, simply by her willpower, got the Supreme Court to rule that unconstitutional. Now school prayers are not allowed in schools anymore. Unless we make an amendment to the Constitution saying, yes, we can have a, a prayer in school, then that be allowed. I mean, prayers are allowed unless there is scientific knowledge of God. Well, that will not help. The prayer is still going on in the churches. What, what improvement? Amen. That becomes hackneyed. It is, it requires training. <coughs> then our political campaign should be educating the people in general as much as possible in the principles of Krishna consciousness. Yes, that is, it is, it is a taking chance to educate people. We may not be successful at the beginning, but it is a good way of preaching, exposing yes. to the general mass. The, uh, and they elect the congressmen generally to solve different social problems which are existing in the society. So in our campaigning process, should we uh, try to show them practical application of the philosophy for solving all their social problems, or should we preach uh, philosophically? No. Uh, we, we should preach that stop these things. No illicit sex. No family. No meat eating. Practically, it is there. Should we also preach that? This is the real social problem. Yes. Should we also try to introduce legislation immediately to huh? close the uh, slaughterhouses? No. If you want good man, good leader, he must be free from all these um, I mean, sinful activities. Otherwise, there is no question of good leader or good man. There is no question. First principle is this. Just like a patient. He must abide by the uh, prescription. You must do this. You must do not this. Then there is cure. And he simply, uh, he, uh, he goes on in his own way. But there is no value of consulting a physician. So the first program was that if you want really good leader, and if you want to become yourself also good, then you must give up this for sinful activities. Otherwise, all your scheme will be failure. Mm. Uh. Uh. 
So we would tell the people that if we were elected, we would try to close the slaughterhouses. Ah. No, no, that is the bad thing. Why, why you should say, say revolting something? You say that don't eat me. That is slaughterhouse closing. And if you say that you close your slaughterhouse, uh, they will think that these are, what is called? Radical. Idea, radical, idealist. Yeah. But if you can induce them, oh, that is also another process. Through influence. Uh, yeah. They agree, then automatically slaughterhouse will be closed. Yeah. If there is no customer for meat, the class slaughterhouse will be closed. Just like Gandhi started this movement, non-cooperation. Don't cooperate with the uh, British government. That was it. Because the Britishers are ruling India with the cooperation of the Indians. Otherwise, how they could rule? The soldiers were in Indian, the police were Indian, the secretary at office, clerks, they are Indians, all Indians. But they manufacture in such a way that they are cooperating. So Gandhi took the route that you non-cooperate, and then the Britishers will automatically go away. That was his movement. Similarly, if we educate public that you must find out a leader who is free from this sinful activity, then he will be happy. And you also give up. Otherwise, how will you be able to select such a leader? This will be our real program. Otherwise, he, uh, they will think that they are against our real joyful life. So these men are useless. A lot of times I you think... You have to explain <clears throat> that if these things, sinful activities you prolong, then you cannot become happy. Now people will ask us, uh, uh, if we get into office, uh, what are we going to do? What's the first thing we're going to do? What can we do? Since there are many, many other legislators and many other senators, they say, you're only one man. How can you possibly change the country if we elect that you? I know. That I know. That I am... Uh, and therefore we are... Internally, we are not after the office, we are after educating people. Even if you go to office, you cannot do. Even if you give your manifesto that you will stop slaughterhouse and you are elected a senator, you cannot stop. Because their majority is there. If you say they will love, what this nonsense say? So even if you give, give any manifesto, you will not be able to carry out it, because their majority is, is there. Uh, simply, you can in a general way educate them. Uh, or you can give what is there, there is no harm. But there are many people in this country that would like to see prayer put back in schools. Even though they don't understand prayer, at least they like the, uh, they're sentimentally attached to it. And it was, an, it was one idea that if we at least say that we would try to get prayer put back in schools. Yeah, without these things, background, there is no value of prayer. Yeah, there, there are a lot of people that would vote for us be, on sentiment, at least, uh, that at least we are for prayer in schools. And it is our life. Prayer, to advise people to offer prayer is not bad. But uh, unless one is purified, uh, that will not stay. By prayer, they are still going to church, but still uh, the churches are being closed. Still, that could be influenced in the right direction afterward. I mean, influence to a certain extent. <laughs> but as soon as uh, you say prayer to God, they love. They what? They love. You know, what is this God and prayer? Well, some people won't. Some people are still, they still have a, at least a sentimental attachment to God. Uh, and. Uh, they, they would like to see at least the uh, a semblance of prayer in school. Okay, do something practical. <clears throat> prayer means to chant the holy name of the Lord. Yes. If you have no holy name of the Lord, we are giving you. So, you have no expenditure. 
neither do you have any loss. So why don't you try this? Yes. Chant Hare Krishna. Sure. This will be reasonable. Is it not? Uh, and if they actually chant Hare Krishna, they automatically the prayer and everything will be done. But they would not be allowed to do it in school. <laughs> they still would not be allowed to do it in school. There's a law against that. Officially in school. That you can introduce. We should try to fight that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now in the schools, now the, the senator have fixed up one date for prayer. I'm sorry. The senator. One day, yes. Uh, on oh, one day, yeah. Some 30th or 31st April. April. Yes. April. So, if the government wants prayer, why they have private in the schools? Yes. This is contradiction. Point out. Yes. When this 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 law was introduced due to inexperience. Now they're coming to experience that it has not helped us. Yeah. Therefore, they're introducing prayer. Yeah. So why don't you take it? We should ride with that. We should try to get in on that. There's a great Otherwise, what is the yeah. use of introducing prayer again? They, they, they have experience that this, without prayer, things have failed. That's a fact. Yeah. To take this point. Yes, the yeah. schools are falling apart. The delinquency and there's lots of criminal activity amongst the children in school. And even the teachers are walking out of the classrooms because of the violence in the, in the, in the schools and the lack of uh, communication with, uh, with, their stu with their students. I know in India, in examination hall, there is regularly police. Yes. Regularly, I've seen it. So what is the value of this education? Yes. Huh? There is regular police. Now there is no ordinary guard. In fact, some people get killed. During, huh? the, during the examination hall, huh? people get killed. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes people want to copy. Uh, and it's the, uh, those people who are... Uh, guarding? Yeah, yes. They catch them and uh, sometimes they, they get killed outside. Yeah. Come out of the hall. Yeah, that has been Especially in Calcutta. Yeah. In Calcutta, that way too? Oh, yeah. I was in the, in the examination hall. And uh, in fact, people are very afraid to be hmm. guards here. But now I, I heard that the government of India is going to change the system of examination. Oh. Oh, oh. paper. What is that? <laughs> that uh, they will introduce the great system, just like here in the United States, and then there will be open books, so that there will be nothing afraid of copying things. Open book examination. Oh, common sense. Instead of plan, they say immediately he goes up. And man set of plan, oh, you have to take position, you have to go so, so many miles like this, then you can. <laughs> it is imitation. The airplane has all two wings. But his wings is collapsed. But that wing you have to keep. That will require so much space. Just like uh, when a vulture, uh, vulture when the vulture wants to take off, uh, run just like an aeroplane for some certain distance. They cannot just get up immediately. Vulture. Oh, you scientists, you are like vultures. <laughs> 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 you have imitated vultures. The symbol of the United States is an eagle, which is a bird of prey. No, eagle, our, our symbol is also Guru, big eagle. Yes. Big eagle, Guru. And you know, Gorur is not vegetarian. 
<laughs> you know that? Snakes. Yes. He's not vegetarian. <laughs> so if one becomes a sincere devotee like Guru, uh, we can allow him to become non vegetarian. <laughs> if he cannot give it up. Tatva? Huh? Yeah, Garuda is from the Jiva Tatva or he yeah. has an expansion? No, he's Jiva Tatva. Nitta Siddha. Does that mean that there is some soul who can come under influence of Maya in the spiritual sky and some soul who cannot? Mm -hmm. Does that mean that in the spiritual sky there is category of soul who cannot come into Maya and some category who can? Yeah, that pot potency is there always. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that the difference between Jiva, <coughs> Jiva Tattva and Vishnu Tattva? Yeah. Hmm? <coughs> that Vishnu Tattva is called Ochuta. Infallible. In politics to the world of theology, one of the most misunderstood passages in the Western scriptures, things that are most speculation about, is the beginning of the book of John, where it is said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that word, that, that Greek word is logos. And so many people have said so many different things about that passage. No one really understands it. I was wondering if they cannot understand the absolute. God and God's word are not different. Otherwise, why we are after Bhagavad Gita? Because Bhagavad Gita is the words of God, as good as God. It's absolute? Absolute, yes. We also said that, we said at the beginning the sound vibration Om was here. Uh, ah, yeah. Om. Sabdhat anamiti, Vedanta Sutta, Sabdhat anamiti, Sabdhat, by vibration. But it goes on to say, then the Word then came down to earth and dwelt with man, as Jesus Christ. Huh? The Word dwelt with man. Huh. This was... Uh, they say Lord Jesus Christ was the Word incarnate. That's right. Well, incarnate means flesh. So. Uh? Incarnate means flesh. Having come down in flesh. But that's all right. <laughs> From our Krishna conscious standpoint, this means a, a person who is a Jagat Guru, mm -hmm. who is fully living Shastra and yes. therefore yes. not different from the Word of God. Yes. Because he is following the words of God. Therefore, he is not different from the words of God. He is practical. Just like a, a lawyer is not different from the law. Therefore, it's called lawyer. Huh? Huh? 
method, like you were mentioning this morning in class, how they're cheaters. They're simply, uh, say they're lawyers, but instead they're uh, breaking the law. Yes. Now it is big lie and means who can tactfully break the law. That is good lie. They'll find out some flaw in the law and win the case. <laughs> Man has committed murder. Everyone knows. And if a lawyer can save him, then he's a good lawyer. Yeah. Right. Have to nullify the law. Yeah. But he's a good lawyer. Uh, you'll find that our that our administration and our government is composed of about 50 or 60 percent lawyers. Like Nixon? Yes. Pretty much so like Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> what is the position of Nixon now? He's getting more popular. How? Well, he couldn't get any less popular. He couldn't get any less popular. Huh. So now nothing's happened, so he's the only one available, so he's getting more popular. <laughs> People forget. Yeah. They're all cheaters, so because he's a cheater, they feel he's one of them. Huh? Yeah. It's called representation. Yes. People have become cheaters, therefore their representative is also cheaters. You can make vigorous propaganda that this will not help without prayer. Offering prayer to Lord. This has stopped. It is not good. Uh, and prayer means you chant the name of God. So there is no loss on your part. If there is some gain, why don't you try it? It will be very nice, beneficial. Certainly, they have nothing more to lose. Huh? They have nothing more to lose. Uh, but if you chant, it'll be, it'll be gainer. Yeah. So. And what is the heart? The chant and see the result. Of course, they must follow the four regulated principles too. Huh? They must follow the four regulated principles too. You can advise. Even they do not follow, they later on follow. Yes. By chanting. Yes. <laughs> At our Sunday program, generally the guests do not follow the four regulated principles. When they come, they become very blissful. But one thing, when you make your propaganda, you must have the uh, facility for chanting. Hare Krishna. Or you are simply going to speak, no chanting. No, we'll always have chanting. We'll always, always be chanting. chanting. Uh, <laughs> yes, always. Yes. We will not speak without first chanting. Yeah. But still we have to talk to them. Huh? We still have to talk to them, though. No, you can talk. Yeah. But, yeah. First of all, chanting. And request them to join the chant. So, yeah. We will probably become known as the Hare Krishna Party, just like we became known as the Hare Krishna Movement. Oh, yeah.